friends welcome back i am wicked crafty mom also april trying a little bit of a zoom so we'll see if this works um i want to make sure i've got it pointed the right way though here we go let's try this okay so here we are hello so today we are going to be making these tiny tags they're so cute oops trying to get in in the frame let's see so I have this one that says warm this one says bird and it's got a bird in case you couldn't tell this one's just got a random word on it and a random um, thing little picture it's just got some it's cut out from a hmm words are fun this is cut out from uh, like a garden book. Pretty sure it's actually garlic. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't have a tea here. So, oh no, Braves. Braves is the right word. Okay. So anyway, and they're little tags you can write right on the back. They are so adorable and they're super easy to make. And I liked them a lot, so I'll make a few of them. So what I've got here is I have some different words from places. I just randomly grabbed words. Um, one of them is a printable from hgdesigns.com. Um, so there's that, these little ones here. So I've got these just little words and phrases. Um, and then I've got some backing um, paper and I've got some neutrals and then I've got some colors. Um, and here I have my bits of stuff. Oops, I can keep this out. I have my bits of stuff that I can add, my little bits. Um, so I think these will be really good. So that's what I have. And I am going to do. do, do. I don't even remember how I did these, but I think they're so cute, so I had to do them again. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like I collaged first, which sounds like me. Okay, so I think, I think that this stuff will be good neutral stuff for collaging. We'll see. It'll be fine either way. So, I'm just going to start tearing and ripping and gluing, and we're just going to use this paper. Oh, I forgot to set my timer again. Okay. Timer set. All right. So, oh, I meant to mention this. Gosh, I keep forgetting stuff, but I wanted to say... I'm doing a new thing here. I've got this um, box. It's a, I don't know, it's from the dollar store. And I've got, it's got a handle and the handle is facing out. So I've got all of my um, snippets. I have a little piece of each snippet roll that I've made um, hanging here so I can just clip it off um, easy peasy and not have to worry about the whole roll taking up bulk on my desk. So that's pretty clever feeling clever let's see so if I need more paper I have a ton behind me I just grabbed this to get started I could do bigger pieces I guess but I like the little scrappy bits because these are going to be little too so I don't think it'll now I'm not doing um I'm not doing the color stuff yet. I will. Um, as part of the decorating, I think. Maybe I won't even use the colors. Maybe I'll just be doing the decorating with the stuff. Let's see. That's kind of what it looks like. So, and if I'm going to do the same thing that I did, then looks like that's what I'll do. 
So I'm going to put these in. I think I have a couple in my um, idea book already, um, which I'm stainless, shamelessly stealing the idea of the idea book from Gal Augustinelli. Shameless. Okay. Still haven't done my nails yet. Haven't worked up to doing that yet, but I keep, my nail polish keeps coming off more nails, so eventually I will. I think tomorrow I will undertake that. I don't, partially just because, partially because I've got new stuff to do it with. Um, I was kind of running low on my nail supplies for for dipping my nails what do I want to do that works I'm gonna cough so I'm gonna pause it for a second I do not like coughing on camera not even a little Sam I am okay so I just folded it a little bit just enough so that I know where I don't need to glue anymore it doesn't mark up the page. It'll glue down just fine. It doesn't affect anything whatsoever. It doesn't even really leave a mark or an imprint. But, but, anywhere to glue. Okay. Yeah, so I do know I could totally, um, I'm going to put this one up here. I do know I could totally... Oh, goodness gracious. I have no idea what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought. Train left the station. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. do this too. This is my shout out. Let's see. So I definitely wanted to shout out to Sabrina and to Tiffany. And to uh, Carrie. Okay, there was that. I think there was something I wanted to tell you. But maybe there wasn't. Let's see. Nope, I guess I didn't. I just set it up so I could. Okay. Um, right, so there was that. I mean, so that's a new thing I'm doing, but again, shamelessly stolen. Like, I'm not claiming I made it up. It's just a new thing that I'm trying for my channel because I like it on other channels. So, so there. Smusher. Come here, Smusher. All right. So I tried to clean up my desk today because it was messy last time that I did a video. It's been less, like 10 minutes. Okay. Um, and I didn't glue this whole thing down because I wasn't going to glue this whole thing down and now I am. I was going to hang it off the edge, but I didn't. All right. So... I know some of my friends in Texas, of all places, um, are having some snow right now. And here at our place, it is chilly, but not snowing right now. 
I have that, um, it's an app, it's called What the Forecast, and so it, um, gives you the weather, but it's, like, you can, and you can do it like a not sweary version, but I do the sweary version because it cracks me up. So it'll, it says rude things about the weather, and that's okay, because I think rude things about the weather. So, um, yeah. So my youngest child has been, he's, he's always been very, uh, food has always been pretty important to him, and that's cool, like, that's just, um, so he's just, he's very serious about food, it's very important, and I like that, and that's cool, um, so he's been getting into chopsticks lately and being pretty excited about that. So um, I have some because when I was working, I would bring in like a frozen lunch thing every day. And uh, it was usually some sort of a rice thing. So I bought chopsticks for work because they didn't seem to have any in the kitchen. So I bought some. Um, because I think a lot of people use them. So, all that to say, I had several sets of chopsticks. And so he was trying to use them the other night when I made stir fry. And, uh, so I got him some, like, training chopsticks. And they have a little ninja dude on top. And the legs are, um, the chopsticks. And so they hold, you know, they hold it together at the end so that he can practice using them. Um, I'm just trying to see if I find any holes by holding it up to the light. So he's been very excited about his new chopsticks. And he cracks me up. He was like, we ordered yesterday dinner from the local pizza place and he was like, Mom, like, what? He's like, what can I order from there that I can use my chopsticks for? I was like, oh, probably chicken. So he got some chicken uh, wings. I don't know how well that worked with the chopsticks because I was actually in here eating my ziti. Um, but it was just, he was like, mom, what? I was like, look, if nothing else, I said, I don't know how it's going to work on chopsticks, but you could, you know, try chicken, chicken, um, wings. And I said, and if nothing else, you can use the chopsticks for the fries. <laughs> so he, uh, had fun with that anyway, whether it worked or not. I'm sure he had fun trying. So. That was fun. That was our romantic Valentine's Day. Neither of us cooked, and that is about as romantic as I need. <laughs> okay, so now we have a paper. How lovely is that? And we're gonna do the other side because I think I did the other side last time after they were glued I mean sorry cut out but I'm just gonna do I really like the way um, Gail and Roxy do it where they just put the backing on before it's cut up that makes sense to me so I'm gonna go with it da 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 all right, I was just trying to figure out how to glue this because I would really like to keep the detail on the edge of this of um, like kind of it's torn and frayed and stuff there. And I just think that's really pretty. So maybe I'll just hang it over the edge and hope some of them have it. Yeah, some of them will. Okay, cool, cool. 
I didn't need to cut that yet. I usually cut all the cutting at one time. All the cutting I can cut. So I'm just grabbing scraps. I've been doing a lot of scrappy, scraptastic things lately with my scraps. And, um, let go. And, um, yeah, so I have used a bunch, 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 bunch of my scraps just making um, mass making journaling cards and um, let's see I've made some I'm making some they're all like mostly I'm making bases but I'm making bases for um, they have a name the flaps the flips the I'll think of it later, I'm sure. The flips. That's what I've got. Um, anyway, I had it written down too. I'm sure I've got it written down somewhere because I was planning out what I was going to do. I think I remember where it is. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so I was watching the crafty organizer yesterday and she was talking, I don't know how old the um, video was, but she was talking about her client had a box for UFOs and that was unfinished opportunities. And I really, really like that. And I think I want to steal it. Uh, UFOs, unfinished opportunities. So she has a box that's marked UFOs, which... I like on a lot of levels. For a lot of reasons. So. Um, yeah. Mm, the flips. The flips, I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Um, Rita Donnelly flips. That's what it was. So I'm making some Rita Donnelly flips. Um, style journaling cards as well and um, let's see what else I don't know I'm doing some mass making because I want to make I want to try to get some journals made maybe find a place to offer them for sale if people are interested if you are interested please let me know in the comments just because um, I would you know if you're interested in buying a journal I would like to know if there's any interest let alone how much so What am I doing? I'm standing here hemming and hawing. Okay. Good to know. There we go. So if you are interested or, I mean, I'm going to obviously make them and show them and do flip throughs and stuff like that. But um, if you're interested in purchasing a journal or commissioning a journal, I would take commissions as well. Um... That's it. That's my story for that. Also, if you like what I'm doing, please like my video videos and subscribe and share because because it's helpful. <laughs> because because that's part of the spiel. I don't think I really have a better because, I'm sorry. Because I would like you to if you like what I do. Okay, for the most part, do, 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 um, yeah, 
so I forgot to tune in and see how he did with chopsticks with his chicken fingers and french fries, but I mean, he didn't choke on them, so that's good. <laughs> Always good. When you, oh, 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 let go. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so now I've got triple layer pieces, or a triple layer piece, because it's one paper. I'm going to leave that on the edge there. I'll probably forget and cut it off. I hope not, but I've seen me do that before, so it's entirely possible that I will. Okay. Now, these are itty bitty, so I can do, it looks like... Oh, three. They don't have to be the exact same size. Um, so I'm just gonna cut tags. One, two, three. I'm not really being super picky about where I'm cutting or how wide they are. I will just look at each strip and go from there. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm trying to keep my spot clean. There we go. Okay. So now I've got these. And I can get probably three of these. Out, uh, or three three tags, one, cut it in half, call it good. No real measuring, they're gonna go in probably different places, different journals, um, so it doesn't have to be identical. In fact, it's probably good that they're not. I'm trying to make them kind of equal just because that's kind of my thing. Trying. All right, look at that. Now we get tags. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I didn't actually, um, for these ones, I didn't actually use um, my, this thing. I just snipped the corners because it's just such a small size that I could. Okay, so cut, cut. So I just went through and did this. Let's, let's see where we're doing on time. Oh, still got lots. Okay, so. May as well cut these right now. I'm not do even doing it on camera, am I? Probably watching me just put them down. It doesn't really, like, as long as you cut them on the same side, it should be fine. You can cut them on the opposite sides if you want to. But remember, these are mostly just the background. Um, <laughs> mostly just the background. All right, so I've got these itty bits. <laughs> this one's going to be so cute because it's so tiny. Let me do this this edge because I want the bottom to be raggedy there. Uh, raggedy bottom tags. <laughs> dump, dump, dump. Dump. Okay. Alright. Step one is done. Now go to step two. We're going to decorate. So, whoa. Let's use this one then. Why don't we? 
Okay. So here's the front. We are just going to start gluing stuff on. Maybe we stamp on here. Maybe we just tear and stick. Okay, so here's this. I will ink the edges after. Um, let's see. And I've got this. So we'll. Oh, where is my inker? Here it is. All right, I'm gonna ink the edges of this. Maybe if there's ink. I may have to, oh, no, looks nice, looks nice, doing well. Thought I was going to have to ink, or uh, water it again. <laughs> okay. So, my review of these glue sticks is they're not bad, but they're so tiny. So tiny. Um, which, actually, on this project might be good, but... Uh, not so much on oh I'm not done with you yet okay all right so I'm just gonna round the edges of this I really like these little tags I do or whatever they are little word plates I do not remember where I got them and I do not have it written down I am going to try to do a, a an image search at some point to find it so I can give credit where credit is due. Um, Alright, I'm going to start using ugh, curse words if I keep dropping stuff. I'm going to start using um, this glue today for this because I like it for this. Okay, so there's one. Oops, separate the ones I have done already from the ones that I haven't. Okay, let's get a little organization here. All right, here, get this and this and this. Perfect. Okay, so one of these is going to get this. I'm going to slap it on there. Now we're going to grab a word. We're going to slap that on there. For the little things, I definitely want to use the um, glue wall bottle. This. Okay. So I inked that and I put it down. Okay. I'm just going to tear the edge of this. On the edge of this, see if I can get it a little inked, kind of just, maybe a little, okay, and this is much more delicate, okay, so there's another one that I'm going to put here, and I'll show them again at the end. Issues. Let me let's do this. Take that. I'm just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> the um, I'm just gonna keep um, adding water because it's working. <laughs> I think it's drying out, being so close to the heat, and that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this glue stick for this because it's a bigger piece. Okay. You go there. You go there. These little dominoes, they came in, and I could have cut around it, they came in a um, paper pack. And I cut them all out. And I really like them. 
because they're glossy so I do like the shine they give and they're fun and kind of random both of which are things I like okay you stuck down so I'm just doing different ways different um, decorations etc etc okay that was a reference to the king and I I mean It was a reference to the king and I and Yule Brenner. Okay. I'm actually going to add this circle. A circle, a little bit of lace stuff. Let's see. Do -do -do -do. This lace looks very steampunky coggy to me so let's see because I've got this super juicy now because I wet it let's get the I'm, I'm learning to take my time and not try to rush impatiently through and it is a work in process progress um, I have not learned I am learning um, do not rush like dope. So, let's. I saw that coming. Alright. On your mark, get set, work. Okay. Go, go, gadget glue. Yay. Okay. see that's pretty I like it I like that a lot that looks like a giant doily based it like it looks like it was just a shrunken doily that's what I'm saying what am I gonna put on here I like simply. Simply looks good. Let's put simply on here. Okay. Oh. Some of my friends have finally started watching um, Schitt's Creek. And oh my goodness I love watching like their reaction posts to it because I started watching it like when it first came out and loved it and um, had to wait for it to finish you know coming out all the seasons but um, man I love that show so much it's got layers, it's got a great cast, like, and as messed up as these kids' lives were before, and they, they make sure that they show that they're, you know, the kids were kind of just, you know, unrooted, ungrounded, not discipline-wise, but probably also that too, but like, no matter where, you know, Moira and... Mm -hmm. I can't even remember his name. Um, Dan Levy. No, Eugene Levy. Whatever Moira, wherever they messed up parenting-wise, like letting Alexis go out, whatever. They got... Their children, they understood who they were and they supported who they were. Like, they didn't make a big deal about it. They didn't, you know, 
they just were supportive. It's just, and so that was, that was really nice to see, you know, the parents supporting, because not that I'm saying I've never seen that before, but I'm saying it's not so much a TV thing where like, here's a stamp, where like, Like, I watched Buffy, and when Willow came out, it was a big deal. Because it was a big deal. Um, I remember when Ellen came out on her show. And it was, it was a big deal. But the thing is that, like, this was just who David was as a character. And it wasn't no fit. There was no fanfare. There was no nothing. There was just... There was a little explanation by way of people getting to know each other um, conversation. But it was really, it's just really well done. It's really good, like, feel good series, I think. And there's this one scene, and it involves the song Simply the Best, and it gives me goosebumps, and I'm not going to say any more. But, goosebumps a little goosebumps like every time and sometimes I even get to like almost cry but not usually usually it's just the goosebumps so and whoop 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 don't do it do not jump okay there that look so far we've made we are how many minutes we've got 25 minutes left and we've made one two three four five so far okay we'll keep going some of that was set up too so these are pretty quick to throw together when you um And you're ready to. And now I have simply the best stuck in my head. This one's cute. It's just like that. Super simple. These are some bigger words that I had cut out just because I needed to get rid of the scraps. Anywho, love that series. Love watching my friends experience it and really get into it. Oh, there's a new one with Alan Tudyk that I want to watch. It's Alien. Something like that. He's an alien. I don't remember. I have to cough. Excuse me. He's an alien. I know that. Because that's in the trailers. That's like not a spoiler it's just backstory um so i do want to see that because i really